The theater department began preparing for the American College Theater Festival last semester. The theater building has been renovated to accommodate the 46 different schools that have traveled to San Marcos for a week to showcase their talents. The new lighting and wall colors bring a more sophisticated and classical look to the theater building. Another addition to the building is the new computer lab located on the first floor. Theater major Richard Romeo will be competing in this week's Irene Ryan competition. I feel ecstatic because Texas State is the place to be. There's no other better university, so you know, why not? Before any seats could be filled, student volunteers worked hard by helping build props, set up lighting, creating schedules, and registering the incoming guests on Monday night. The department chair, John Fleming, says putting this event together is comparable to hosting an NCAA match everyone is watching. It brings prestige to the university that way and we have guests from probably 21 different states. Uh, one of the judges is a woman who was a Tony nominated actress last year. Uh, another judge is a professional actor in Canada who's got numerous cable shows. The week-long events include seminars, interaction with professionals, and full-length productions. Two of the seven productions that were selected to be showcased are Texas State Productions. Guests are excited to see what students from all around the U.S. have to offer. All the plays were interesting, it's inspiring, so metamorphosis, doubt, and seeing everything. Shows will run through Saturday. For more information, contact the Department of Theater. For Bobcat Update, I'm Amabilia Esparza. For many, spring break means playtime at the beach. But as Alicia Mendez tells us in this Bobcat Update, the break is also a time for service. Maybe you'll head for the coast this weekend or spend some of your break hanging out at the San Marcos River. Eleven students, though, have a job to do in Alamogordo, New Mexico, where they'll help build houses for Bobcat Break. A graduate research assistant for Student Volunteer Services, Jill Summer, says the students will be paid $45 each for food, lodging, and transportation. We will be building a house with Habitat, Humanity, and um, International in a colonia, which is a low-income um, community where they don't have any utilities or services provided by the city. Next year's trip is already being planned, so if you're interested in an alternative spring break, you can go to the SVC office in the LBJ Student Center. For Bobcat Update, I'm Alicia Mendez. San Marcos city leaders are hoping a new grant program will persuade more Texas State University professors to invest in a home in San Marcos. The city council has set aside $50,000 for the program and will award 10 eligible professors $5,000 each in forgivable loans to secure a single family residence in San Marcos. City leaders hope this program will stimulate residential development, increase property tax revenue, and retain university salary dollars in the city. Texas State students may soon receive more financial aid thanks to federal action. Dexter Ellison has more on this Bobcat update. Congress has approved $17.3 billion in Pell Grants, which will provide assistance to students for at least the next two years. The funds are a part of an omnibus spending bill approved last month. Full-time students receiving Pell Grants could see an increase in the maximum Pell amount. The expected family contribution will also be reduced by about $600. The federal work-study program will also receive a boost, allowing for more job opportunities on campus. With the increase of new work-study jobs, opportunities for students to land jobs around campus could become a little bit easier. Michelle McDonald, an assistant computer lab technician, welcomes the decreased stress that more money could provide. I know a lot of people that receive financial aid, but they don't think that it's enough. And so I think with the increase in the ability to get more from the government and not have to worry about like having much to pay back at the end would make everything easier. For Freshman Elizabeth Racker is a work-study office assistant, and she says she'll appreciate the extra income. Actually, help a lot because uh, I know a lot of people that do have issues with uh, with financing their college education. Other benefits in the bill include tax exemptions for school necessities, funding for job training, and tax credits for tuition and fees. Students can determine if they are eligible for the increase by visiting the financial aid office or by checking online through Cat's Web. For Bobcat Update. I'm Dexter Ellison.
With another semester of final exams and end of the year projects quickly approaching, stress levels among Texas State students are increasing. The university's counseling center today offered a workshop called Transforming Stress. The program was designed to provide an entertaining way to relieve stress. For more information about how to cope effectively with the pressures of being a student, contact the counseling center.